the presence of the island sugarcane plant hopper at the very tip of far north Queensland has sugarcane farmers shaking in their boots. This is because the plant hopper carries a disease that could devastate the Australian sugar industry. The industry needs to be protected, but how? Well, there's a new idea to science called metapopulation theory and it's proving very useful if controlling pests is the aim of the game, especially when pests live on islands like our plant hopper does. So let's take a closer look. The Torres Strait Islands are between Papua New Guinea and northern Queensland. The plant hoppers living in PNG are out of control, but it's a different story in the Torres Strait. All the plant hoppers on one island are called a population. There are over 200 islands in the Torres Strait. Some have populations on them, some don't. But taken together, all these populations are called a meta-population. Most of the time, each population is happy doing its own thing, but sometimes... Hey bro, there ain't no decent chicks in this joint. I'm out of here. You coming or what? The movement of plant hoppers between populations is called migration. Now, some populations are more exciting than others. They are always big, there is lots of breeding, but there is a downside. Aww, miss the first time buyers green. Sugar cane plants are too expensive. Gonna have to move. Aww. So, there tends to be lots of migration away. Sometimes during a migration, the plant hoppers take a wrong turn and end up on an island where no plant hoppers have ever lived before. Ooh! Look at this place! I love it! Let's stay! Honey? Yes? Ooh! Uh oh! This is called colonisation. Some populations are really small. So small that... Oh, dying, dying, dead. Ugh. This is called local extinction. Migration, colonization, and local extinction are the three essential metapopulation theory processes and are the key to controlling the plant hopper in the Torres Strait. Identifying and removing the big populations means removing the migration. Without migration, there is no colonization, and small populations relying on migration for survival will go extinct. Therefore, total metapopulation extinction can be achieved, creating a plant hopper free buffer zone in the Torres Strait. Well, there you have it. By applying metapopulation theory, the Australian sugar industry can be protected from devastation by the island sugarcane plant hopper and the disease it can carry. And quite frankly, right now, metapopulation theory is definitely.